think the last time we kind of did that 11 sort of 01 route in. yeah this time you're going to do one but it's not really a route it's just lots of the more challenging roundabouts coming up okay okay with your favorites the old I've favorites. got Alfred stuck in my head follow the flipping the old favorites the post. Are coming up <laughs> and all of that all right um so again as we go along we'll have a talk about the situations and what you should be doing but you're trying to be as independent as possible right yeah mm-hmm. so i don't really want to i mean i'm rubbish at direction but <laughs> so this is it you're listening to the sat nav following that and if there's any points that we see then we're we'll sorted yeah mm-hmm. okay you so arrive at your destination carry on when you're ready yeah Okay, so just one thing there straight away. I didn't check my left hand side. Wasn't so much that, was it? Go on. You did check your blind spot. No, over my shoulder. Over your I lived in my Mary. So you, you better right. think yourself. Stafford Avenue. Why you is it blind? Always do that. Yeah, but why is it important? Just in case Bare anyone's right. coming close to me, like a pushback or anything. Is it simpler than that? It's something in your blind spot. I mean, I thought you check your mirrors. This is a person. Yeah, but there could be something in your blind spot. Yeah. And th- that's what you got to check. So I know for a fact what it is, because that car was coming in, I panicked. Okay. I just wanted to move quick. But any other time I do, I check my blind spot, everything. Yeah. Without fail, it's well, like, you, it's normal to me. you just got to reflect on that and think. Yeah. Okay? Don't rush. <laughs> what, what, you know, you don't want to chuck away your debts. No. Or put yourself in danger. After 300 yards... Cross the roundabout and take the second exit. That's what's making Dark me panic now. I'm thinking, am I going to be all yeah, nice and calm, and I'm going to come on it? Am I going to overthink one thing? I'm like, oh shit, I've just balls the whole thing up now, just for something stupid. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit. Do you think you could have done that roundabout better? Yeah. In what way? I could have been better positioned. Yeah. I was on the outer lane instead of the inner. So, sorry, say that again. You I should have been. I, I should have been better positioned. Where? Where should you have been? More on the inner part of the roundabout. The inner? Yeah, more inside. Let's talk about left and right. Mm-hmm. So, on my side, the left, or your side, the right? My side, the right. No. No. You should have been more on the left. See, I thought I was too far on the left. That's why I pulled over. No. Where, where was you going? Where was the direction? Where Second exit. Straight, yeah? Was there any markings on the roundabout? Not great ones that I can no, see. No, no, was there any markings? No. no, it wasn't, was it, yeah? So what's your normal driving position? Stay to the left. Okay. Well, that's what I was doing, and then I thought, oh my God, I've got to go over more, so should I have been more on the right and then gone to the left? No. You, 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 see, you're saying it, really. If you think about what you're saying, I'm and, when, and when you watch this video later... <laughs> <laughs> just think of the rules. There's a roundabout. You're going straight ahead. There's no road markings. So just stay to the, the full left. position is in the left. Okay. So what are the dangers of not keeping your default position to the left? I'm going to confuse the other drivers. Okay. I think in the Queen's speech they're going to start to open up those. You know those e-scooters on the road. I thought After they were funny. Yeah, no, that's that's coming. Right, right on yeah? the roundabout. So and when you've got those e-scooters, they go quick. Yeah, yeah. Right. try and make it more. And they're busy. slim, aren't they? Because okay. I'd go and get to you a lot quicker than a flipping so bike. Well. So if you leave gaps open, they're going to be using it. So where are we going? Third exit. I was getting past this road. Yeah, so perfect. I'm happy with that. <laughs> go right, right yeah? on the roundabout and take the third exit. Right, so. That's slow. One. Two. What do you think of that? Not bad. Right. As long as I keep my foot off the accelerator. <laughs> yeah, keep, keep control of the car. Yeah. So you, you can do that fine, but now you think now you've got. What's to think, Yes. Yeah, <laughs> I was expecting to see that. <laughs> but you've got to think to yourself, why why would you get that position on on the on the straight ahead one? Because you know it. Yeah. In your head, you're thinking. That's what I mean. I'm I'm overthinking it. Like oh shit, there's no, there's no markings. It's a wide. I think it's because it was a wider one at the end. Like so, first started. So let's have a think here, yeah? Mm-hmm. What's coming up ahead? 
Oh. Coming up ahead. What's what's not now coming up ahead? Oh. <laughs> I thought it. <laughs> you mean the, the lorry? No, I'm talking about the cyclist. Oh. <laughs> I, <laughs> guess I, thought, I saw him before the lorry. <laughs> thinking about the cyclist and about then you turned Pop off, ones here. Yeah. So, fair enough. Managing my speed better. Yep, speed's better. Also, you're sort of managing directions on the on the sat nav now. Yeah. You're more relaxed on that, aren't you? So these are all positives. I think that overthinking, you've just got to. I need to get out of my head. You need to get out of your head. You, you need just to, for the day. Well, so, not even the day, just for the. Sometimes I find. <laughs> sometimes I find, you know, that it's in, it's in your mind. Go with it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But I was like, oh, just go with your gut feeling. It's like, yeah, but then I still question my gut feeling. After 300 yards, go left on the roundabout and okay, take hang first on. Turn exit off your indicator. A34. Let's have a think. Look at the sat nav. What does the sat nav say? The roundabout. Okay. This so roundabout. this is where a lot of people go wrong because they listen but to, don't look. to the sound, you know, what it's saying, but not looking. It's it's a combination. It's the sound. Would that be a fail though? Okay. So if I think. just diverted. Okay. So if you went left on this roundabout. It'll bring me Potentially, it's not a foul, but you know, when when the examiners are doing tests, they've only got like 57 minutes, and yeah. it's, it's a bit frustrating, isn't it? Yeah, when you, it when, a bit you know, yeah, it's, it's there. So they want you to just pay attention as much as possible. Well, yeah, because you're driving, you need to pay attention. Yeah. Go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, A34, Lower Street. Okay, now I'm yeah. going to stop you here. I wasn't sure I if know you were walking up all this okay. way. Well, that is a really big point here. This is a very big crossing, right? Yeah? yeah. And I'll tell you what it was. You were looking more at the crossing. You need to move that head and look to the wi- side as well. Look wider. I could see her coming back and I was sitting there waiting, thinking. I she, saw her coming, but she walked that way at first. I was like, oh, is she coming this way? Or uh, she? You look back at the video. She was walking straight. She had nowhere to go. <laughs> I think it was just a combination of three people. You could deny and say she was going somewhere else, but then when you look at it, you I go, saw her going that way, <laughs> and then I saw the woman come to her, and then I saw the bike here. So I think the lesson is wider, isn't it? Yeah. The yeah. <laughs> and take the second exit. A I think now we'll go and catch me off. Street. Well, no, not even if you can't concentrate. Big highlights. You know, as you approach any crossing, mirror check, looking especially them zebra, especially for them zebra crossing ones. Yeah. What's the sat nav telling you? Go third exit. Okay, so she. I was trying to get away from that. Oh, I've seen that. Yeah, you've you already done it. Right on the roundabout. And everyone like going nice. Third exit. A52. Right. Then take the third left. Come again. Oh, just third left. Yeah. Confusion when they say the minute. If you look at the roundabout, yeah. Once you've clarified where you're One. going, forget what you're around the sound I'm saying. Don't Two. get confused on it, yeah? Three. See the big roundabouts, I am better After on. After 400 yards, turn left, A527. What's the speed limit here, by the way? 30? You sure? I swear it's 30. Okay, how'd you, how'd you know? Yeah, okay. Well, there yeah. you go. <laughs> I thought right. you were making me question it because your car's all, oddly it, always wrong. <laughs> okay, so what it is, the reason why I said are you sure, because I'm trying to persuade you saying, oh, yeah. is, it, is it? But that well, you're making just me go guess then, that like, what? Yeah, you should just go pop. It's, it's, it's Turn it's, left. It, what's it? This left here, yeah. What do you reckon? Yeah. Look at this. I'm looking where the arrow's going now. <laughs> Just make sure their mirror checks are in before you go like around that van, yeah? Yeah. So one mirror I check. Need to physically should, move me Yeah, out. well, you know, I'm not I, I just want you to look and see. Yeah. So what mirror I do it with my eyes. What mirrors should you check? When I'm going left around the van. Yeah, so think, which one's first? The right. Okay. But is that the first mirror? Should if be, I'm turning left. No, if you you were going around that van so you're moving over to the right, yeah? If I was going to the right. So what I'm asking you is which mirror first? Should be the centre. You say it's centre, then the side. And then the right, yeah? And what are you looking for? Anything and anyone. <laughs> okay, well, let's let's make that a bit more Anyone in me. It, yeah? <laughs> it's someone who's potentially going to get partial. Yeah. So if there was someone about to get partial there, what are you going to do? Slam me break on. Really? If someone's trying to get past me? Yeah, if there was someone about to get partial, 
slamming your brakes on potentially. Oh, if I was already moving. Hang on, we're trying to go around that van. I want sure. Am I already moving at this point, or am I still it's waiting? Exactly the same thing. You check your After mirrors. And you're about yards, to move out. Cross the and you see, let's say a motorbike about to get past you. So I don't know about slamming your brakes on. You might ease off. Well, I'd slow down. Yeah, let him pass. Ease off your gas. Let them go. I wouldn't let him slam in the back of me. But that, that's the key with the mirrors. You're checking to see if it's safe Cross the to roundabout carry out your manoeuvre. And take the second yeah. exit. And to be honest with you, unless you really have to, you never want to be slamming on your brakes. No. You want to be aware. No, unless I'm on. And just do subtle moves. So, we was going straight ahead on that roundabout. Yep. Was that a better position? Do you felt better? Do you think we could no, have No, I could have done it better. What do you think? What could Stayed you and left a bit more. Okay. And take my foot off the accelerator because yeah. I put my foot down a yeah. bit. So where's that coming from? I don't know. It's because it's a small. It's what it is when it's the small ones. I just want to get on and off as quick as possible. And I don't know why. Well, but it's that, no different to a big one. Once it's empty, it's empty. You want that control, don't you? Yeah. You, want, you really want that control. I think I seem to think if I take my foot off the accelerator, it's just going to come to a stop. No. And just, I know with your car, it doesn't. With mine, it's like. Yeah, but, you, but I, I can't think, do that in your I think car. You've got the settings, you know, <laughs> and the like a one pedal driving. Yeah. Thing, yeah. Um, it's just been like that since we had it. Yeah. So, so you can, sort of, you, honestly, you can change the settings on those cars. How long has this light been green for? For a while. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So who's behind us? Much going on. No one. Okay. <gasps> so then there'll be you a point them, woman. of no return. Yeah. Which is fine. No so buttons on that one. That. No, they have. That <laughs> lady waiting at the crossing should we have stopped see i would have stopped yeah did you see her i saw it really last minute okay because usually they're already crossing so let's have a look here right yeah right so we're not at the roundabout yet we have to think really carefully these <gasps> are zebra crossings they well, that's are, what threw me off because usually they just walk and don't care, do they? Obviously, I get that she's yeah, old and but she's let's waiting. Have a, let's have a think. Of, of <laughs> if someone's waiting, we have to if stop. If they're waiting, yeah. you have to stop. Right, yeah? Did you see them? I saw them last minute. How did you see them last minute? Because you stood right next to the pole. Okay, so what do you think you could have done to do that better? She could have walked right to close. No, you to do it better because you're the larger vehicle. I could have looked. You, but how, you said you couldn't see her because she was behind the pole. I yeah? genuinely couldn't see her. Okay, so how about moving your head? No, even with, I think it was the colour of the clothes. Now, yeah, I can understand that. Really beige. But what I'm saying is, if you move your head. If I purpose to try and aim to see if yeah, people are there, yeah, then and think to yourself, I might be able yeah. to. Because that's twice now, two, two zebra yeah. crossing faults, isn't it? Right? eight zebra crossings. I think it's worse because there's no flashing lights or anything. Like here, you've got the lights to look at as well. Whereas zebras, it's just, oh, let's just pot look. Is anybody there? Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to mark down that as zebra crossings. We're going to do a little little bit after this, <laughs> just going over, getting just our procedures. Just to save the people. Getting our procedures <laughs> right, yeah? This is what annoys me because when I'm the passenger, I notice all of it. So, what about this, this situation here? What mirrors are you checking? My middle. And when I went to come back in from no, the van, yeah, we're gonna go around. So middle and what? Right. Okay. So this is what I'm saying, Jay. Is there anyone there? Nope. Okay. Same thing here. Oh, there's no one right, there? No. <laughs> Thankfully. Oh my God, these roads. So, after 300 yards, there's going to be right on the roundabout another zebra crossing the exit, in the A527, yeah, zebra crossing Port Hill Bank. What, what can you see? So try, <laughs> try and think who's behind you. No one. Okay, now try and look. There's no one there, but you remember on this one, it's like a hidden little path. Yeah, it's right it's there, isn't it? So you're going right. So if I was you, I'd be Go right back on the and roundabout lean forward, see if you can see a bit more. Exit. But no one there, all good. Can you see? But really important. These I, don't, zebra crossings. I still don't understand why the zebra crossings right there because that's where that's people. That's horrible. No, but that's where people are going to cross, and if you don't put it there, they're still going to cross it. That's really dangerous, though, isn't it? It's probably not as dangerous as not having one there. If they had it further down. People are lazy, aren't they? They don't walk. Yeah. Basically. Right, so one. 
two. Oh, this is a narrow one, isn't it? Three. All right, so what can you see down the road? I see. Is it zebra crossings? There the you poles? go. Another one. <laughs> right, yeah? So again, who's they behind us? They've got the us? balls on. Someone. Yeah? So did the other ones. Who's behind us? Someone. And have a look. No one's in front. There you go. So we don't, <laughs> we don't, we don't have to do anything. It's only when people are there. After 400 yards, go right on the roundabout and take the fourth exit, A500, towards Newcastle under Lyme. Yeah, there are horrible zebra crossings on. Is this good old Port Hill? Yep. Uh -oh. Go right on the roundabout and take the fourth exit. Oh. Right, so, inside lane. Yeah. That's the first exit center. Right, the middle one now. Middle can you now, see? yeah. Can you see? Yeah. Right, Two. so try and be in that. Right, Three. stay calm at the moment. I'd be more central in that we one, can yeah? still go so left, can you? on the outside, isn't it, yeah? Yeah. Now this one. Take the exit, A500. So there, there is more right. sign, just really, really faint. Yeah, there is, but they're very subtle, aren't yeah. they, yeah? And if you're rushing or you've never experienced it before. I've right? never been on this one yeah. before, that's After all that I After 800 yards, yeah. keep right. Okay, so. Could have sworn the indicator was still on there for right. Okay, let's have a think about exit. what you did there, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. You looked over your shoulder, you did like a blind spot. Yeah. Okay, so why is that potentially dangerous? You might look over your blind spot when you're joining, aren't you? Okay, are you? Three Who told you that? Take the exit. That's why you might look over your blind spot okay. when you're coming off like the okay. slippy bit. So let me give you some facts. Yeah? Mm -hmm. We was roughly doing what? Nearly 50? Yeah. Okay. How many metres do you think you're travelling in about two seconds? I have no idea. I'm rubbish at measurements. Have a, have a guess. <laughs> right, have a guess. Metres? Yeah? Mm. In how I, many I, seconds? I'll give you, I'll give you some metres in there, right? Yeah? It's roughly the length. So every two seconds, um, I have to look at these facts don't really After but roughly the yards, length of two take the buses. Exit, the length. A53, right. Okay? Sleep, two seconds. Then, so if the right. guy slammed on his brakes in front, then you're not looking at that. So potentially... So if I'm jumping on here, yeah. see if I'm on this roundabout on my test, yeah. the exit, then literally just right. check well, me mirror, me mirror. How we do, we check your mirrors, but lean forward, you'll see more, you'll cover more of that area, but looking behind you, you're, you're actually wobbling the car and not, not looking in front, which is important bit. So when we come back on in a second, we go over. We're going to come off in the right lane, okay? Okay. So in the right lane. After 200 yards, keep right, then go right on the roundabout and take the third exit. This one, Bassford. This is Bassford, yeah. yeah. Go right on the roundabout and take the third exit. A53 towards Newcastle under Lime. Not moving. Two. Take the exit, it's in a road, then I take the third right. Okay, so if you ever look at this position here. Do you think there was a chance to get more over in the left I could area? have gone, yeah. Okay, so what was the reason you didn't? Because I thought we were going completely back on ourselves, not but, up here. But we wasn't, was we? Because that's where the sat nav said. Yeah. And you were counting the exits. So now you want to get across. Can you see now we got somebody there? Yeah. Now can we get across? Yeah. Okay, so that's a really good thing to establish where you're going, isn't it? Yeah. So you know what you follow because actually you did that all right. After 300 yards, I could have done it better. Right, yeah. Right, yeah. yeah. B5369, Basefoot Park Road. Then turn left. This right. There's two okay, highlights. Listen line. what it says the blue line, not the black line. There's a blue line ahead there. Turn right. Yeah, it's here. Then 
Turn left. Okay. Well, look there, there's a blue the line reason in front why of the, Yeah, but you can see where the arrow's going. <laughs> so I follow so, the arrow yeah. whether it's blue so or the, not. The reason why we are, um, there's that one there, is because it does a loop and comes back on itself. Now that won't happen in the test because they just follow right. that. It's because what's happening with us is I'm, I'm looping certain roundabouts, okay? But, really important to understand, it's the arrow, isn't it, yeah? Yeah. So, I know there's room that side, not much. So you potentially, you could, go the green arrow, that's all good, isn't it, yeah? Yeah. Good okay, go. so now, once it's sat nav, it's told us to go left here, and then we're going to pull up on the left, okay, yeah? Okay. Turn left, Broughton Road. Are you coming out from having to squeeze in? Where are you going? I think you've got room to see. Do you think? Yeah, but don't turn too much because you don't want to hit the curb. I don't what think I'd have been able to do that. I think you could. Pull up on the left here just for a second, yeah? Okay, so just put it into P just a second, yeah? Right, so basically a couple of things there, right, yeah? If you have a look on this video later when I post it, mm -hmm. right, yeah, you'll have a look on the Port Hill roundabout. The potentially a majority of it was okay, yeah? You, yeah. you told me where you was going, but then once you've gone into that right lane, you have to pick up on where I'm going next. Quick. Uh, it's on that the line, isn't it? You yeah. say next to that line, which actually puts you in the middle lane, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then we join the dual carriageway, right? Yeah. Yeah. So really important here. I want to just to go over why you probably don't want to check your blind spot right yeah mm -hmm. so there's two things that, that you that you can do to see more one is um move forward so put your hands on the wheel and pull pull yourself forward look in that mirror the back one that, that one, one there pull yourself forward so i can't do that so i can't physically move like enemy test then of course you can so i didn't want it to be like oh my god what you're not getting full control of the car if you're sitting that far forward with the steering wheel. No, but um, you're not changing your seat. All you're doing is... Because I don't like looking back because I do wobble. Yeah, you do. <laughs> um, I've said this loads of people. Cause I don't want to look back because then if I'm looking this way, I'm going to be turning this way. Okay, yeah, so I... Um, <laughs> I think it's dead dangerous. So it is dangerous. I yeah. mean, looking at your blind spot, it, it doing 50 miles an hour is, is dangerous basically because you're not looking in front no so what i want you to do is lean forward so if you pick a point in that mirror like the middle of the road now pull yourself forward can you see more yeah okay so that that kind of works doesn't it yeah yeah so let me just get my chart out here right yeah so at 50 <laughs> at 50 <laughs> 50 miles an hour mm -hmm. do you work in meters or feet what's better for you feet feet Right. I'm rubbish with both, to be honest. Uh, uh, right. We'll Every second, you are travelling 74 feet. Wow. Right. So we looking behind. I, I was trying to calculate roughly two and a bit seconds, maybe maybe so two seconds. Right. Yeah. Yep. So that is more like 150 feet. Right. Yeah. So that's going to be an impact. That is a couple of a few bus lengths, to be honest with you. Yeah. All right. Yeah. That you're looking. So that means because you're not looking um, ahead. Let's imagine the guy in front, hopefully not, but he had a heart attack or yeah. a fit and his foot went on the brake. So he, he, he just broke. Yeah. Right. Taking away those two seconds or those 150 feet. We're still going at him. It's, that's a lot. Yeah. So how can we do that? One is we can move forward more. Mm -hmm. The second one is called it's called kiss the parrot. Right. Yeah. So a blind spot is when you move off from like the side of the road here where you look right behind the pillar. Yeah. Kiss the parrot is this. Like you're a pirate. <laughs> So do that now, can you see? Just a quick one. That's it. So could you see more there? If there was someone by the side of you, right? Yeah. I'd still be able to see him, yeah. yeah. Now, there's new technologies coming on your car, and I believe your car's got this, yeah? You can... a little flicky thing? Yeah, the little yeah. flicky thing. That's what <laughs> they call a, a blind spot indicator. It's like um, it's like Star Trek when I was yeah. a kid. You've got like a, <laughs> like a, it's not a field where it protects you, but it's, it's like sensors, isn't it? I've yeah? never noticed yours has got it. Yeah, it's got it, yeah. So that will flash on. So modern technology is helping us. Yeah. Not looking in the blind spot will help us. Moving more will help us. And kissing the parrot will be the icing on the cake. So if I was, say, Hanford roundabout sort of thing, I don't know the difference between the D road, the motorway, this and that. Yeah. Do you still use check your blind spot on that road? 
once you come I, in I, off what, what we're talking about here is joining a carriageway right yeah so mm-hmm. you're joining off a slip road okay and and for whatever reason where, how it's happened in the past or why you thought about it you're you're because you're moving on to the actual carriageway you want to know what's there yeah but what's happening is i it's like a doubt isn't it i mean yeah. a lot of people <laughs> suffer from this they doubt their mirrors Right, yeah, or something's happened where their mirrors haven't been adjusted, or they didn't. You seem to think in the blink of an eye, anything could change. Yeah. So I'd rather physically see yeah. it myself. But your mirrors are really effective, right? Okay, in seeing it if you move and if you understand them. Mm-hmm. All right, yeah. Okay, so like I've planned this, we're going to go back onto Basford Roundabout, turn right, and then rejoin the carriageway. Right? Yeah. Okay. Do you want me to kind of assist you as you're coming on to say, don't check the blind spot? Do you want to have a go on your own? I'll try it on you. Yeah. Should we have a go on your own? Because you're not going to be there on the test in the back of me, are you? Like, right. (laughs) So let's go. Yeah. Yep. See here, blind spot necessary. See, you're confusing me now. Okay. So treat it as I'm pulling off as normal. Yeah. Let me tell you why. Because if you look at this. We're in like the, if we imagine our lane, I'm not talking about the whole road here, it's got three positions. You've got an A position where we are mm-hmm. by the curb, a B position, normal driving position, and a C position, say, turning right, yeah? Yeah. So, we are moving from an A position to a B position, right, yeah? We're still, we, you know, as in still not moving. Yeah. So, potentially, there could be stuff. You see that house there? Mm-hmm. Right, yeah. Imagine if you get a young guy jumping over that fence trying to get over here quickly. <laughs> I don't know. Could happen, couldn't <laughs> it? Yeah. So that he would be completely in your blind spot. Yeah. So that's why it's really important to make sure you check over that shoulder. But when we're using slip roads, we're using more our mirrors. The blind right. spot becomes a negative. Okay. okay. So, let's so if we're parked up, we're checking blind spots. Yeah. If not, we don't. Yeah. Okay. Right. So try this now. Yeah. Yeah, so be All looking in the bright spot now. That's it. So there, you, you know that it's clear, right? Yeah. Then we're, you know, driving Going along left. at a normal position now. At the end of so, the road, turn left. Yeah. The recording get ends. Left. I was waiting. Turn left. Yeah, that's awareness, isn't it? Yeah? His van's parts are a bit awkward. He jumps in, you know what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> I think I just turn flashed him Turn left, off. then turn left. I don't think you did flash him. Hmm. Flashing is pulling it back. Yeah, I pulled it back a bit and some no, I think your beam lit up on the dash. I didn't see it, but there you go. Did you? <laughs> okay. Turn Are you left. A53. Okay. It's already right. I think that's a safe thing to do today. No. Though. Okay. Maybe at the top of a junction. I don't know there. We should have maybe just gone on. Yeah, she was waiting, wasn't she? Oh, that's a fluffy dog. Why do you sat and I've seen a different town to your car? I don't know actually. <laughs> I've just realised. No, 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 that's telling us when we arrive back. Oh, there we go. Yes, yeah, so you arrive at the time. ATM. After 400 yards, go right on the roundabout and take the fourth exit, A500, towards your top sitter. Right on the roundabout and take the fourth exit. We've got one. Should be over again, right, mate? Can you see? And then move over to that one. Yeah, so remember, you had to slow down a bit here. Don't go over the line behind the 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 N21, yeah? That's a very (laughs) jolly Take the exit, A500. Now you want to signal left, can you see? Yeah. Because I was treating it like I was coming from that exit again. I just went straight over. But like we've agreed, you're on your on your own on this one. Yeah. Okay, so I take the back. exit, 
towards Ash Ball. Okay, so in one way, it was better. I could have done it a lot sooner. Yeah, it was because... I was looking at this and I thought, you're saying, oh, stay in the left-hand lane, I yeah, might not no, jump on. it's a slip road. And I still right, jumped yeah? on. Okay, so it's a slip road and you didn't look in your blind spot. On the negative After side, yards, why didn't you go over earlier? Because of what you said. Yeah, I thought yeah. she was there. Right. I okay. saw the two lanes and I thought, okay. I'm not jumping on, I thought I was jumping on. But and really, then out of nowhere it started narrowing like oh shit I'm jumping on I think what we what we need to do is like take that information from the sat nav that we're coming on and then do it and then see what the next one is yeah okay for you. so no what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the nat sat nav bit a second now right yeah okay so we're just going to carry on take the exit carry on from here so I can just do a couple more slip roads with you okay yeah, yeah? No more sat nav yet. That's what I need to look like then. <clears throat> so obviously you've got slip roads coming on, like so we're coming on. Yeah. Also you've got slip roads where Jumping other vehicles on. Oh, yeah. yeah. So we've got certain ways that we can deal with this, yeah? Mm -hmm. One, if we've got the room, we can move over into lane two, can't we? Yeah. Okay? A lot of the times. We've talked about that before, haven't we? Yeah, a lot of the times there's a lot of vehicles coming up, isn't there, yeah? Mm -hmm. So if you're very aware, what you can do is subtly either oh, ease off the gas, so hopefully they've got room to come on, or if you're a little bit in front of them, increase your speed yeah. so they can't. So let's have a look at this one, yeah? Okay. Okay. So we can see this one here. What I always try and do is look over early. Can you see? Mm -hmm. I kiss a parrot on the other side. Yeah. <laughs> so you can see there's nobody there. No. You've got that orange van in front. And as you can see, he's got time he's to, got come on, yeah. to go on. Yeah? So now we're going to come off in the lane where he was, heading towards Alton Towers. We're jumping yeah. off? Yeah. It's mirrors, not looking behind you see, yeah. but moving your head more so you can see. That's very important, right? Yeah. So we're gonna stay in this lane, bearing left, which is all good. Um but can you see what's happening? What's yeah, the they're slowing down. Okay, so do you think what should we be doing? Slowing down. Okay, because we're not only slowing down, we're also we're stopping. <laughs> we're, no, he's off. We're also giving a signal to the to big lorries behind. behind that there's something going on because that's the only way sometimes that you can see there's stuff going on yeah like signal 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 helping everyone else you see mm -hmm. that's why brake lights are very important obviously there's probably one of the most important signals in the world. yeah well, like even though often don't even know they're not working or they don't even know that's something you know you need to make sure they're working don't you i'm going How to the left you, or straight we're going to get into your left lane how would you check your brake lights because seeing they're so important if nobody was around the hurt them? In the reflections. Where? Of windows, wherever I'm parked near. Okay, so like a reflection, yeah? Yeah. What about if you was in the middle of a camping field, no one around? How would you do that? Completely black, dark. Actually, it's not dark, that would make it too easy. I was going to say, I know the safe, for your indication it's your hazard. Well, you could do, right? if that ever happens, and I'll, I don't know where for that. Can I not put my handbrake on? No, because the handbrake wouldn't make the brake lights come on, yeah? But what you could do is, if you're really desperate to test your brake lights, put and you're in the field, <laughs> yeah, put something on, yeah. Just I've put, never been asked about the brakes before. Put your ignition on, and just put something on the brake pedal, it. and then you can walk around. But there's a lot of stuff there. You'd have to be in the middle of the field, in the daytime. Find a boulder. With no one else around. <laughs> quite a lot going on. <laughs> or quite I know they on. say how do you check your indicators are working. Yeah. If you've got nobody in the car with you. Well, your hazards walk around, couldn't you? Yeah. 
pop your acids on, get okay, out and walk around. Okay, so we're going to have another slip road here, but there's a couple of things going on. First one is what? Big one, coming up now. 30. Yeah. I was looking at that lorry behind me. Was. Keep going. <laughs> I didn't not too slower than 30, he just ease off your gas, get the Just wait balance. Now we'd like to get over into a right, right lane, lane, although we're not going right, we're just... Far right. Going, we're now this just lane. Just the middle. And we're, we're going to go right here, follow around. Mm-hmm. Lorry 21 played cars about, didn't they? Yeah. Can you see again, there's two lanes, remember we discussed yeah. that, yeah? Yeah, in the left. Yeah, it's better, isn't it, yeah? Yep. Yeah. And then this roundabout now, I want you to get into your right lane, so fully over, and I want you to come all the way back on yourself. On so. so hopefully you know where you're going, because I said all the way back, so we're yeah. not here, is it? No. Nope. Okay. I could have gone in the left a lot sooner. Okay, that wasn't so bad, I'll be honest with you. Yeah? It was just a doubt of you wanting to come off, do you see? Yeah. So, you see a sign that says all traffic, doesn't it? Yeah? Mm -hmm. So, do you need to indicate? No, but I like to do it. Okay, but really, you can <laughs> I know I don't on have other stuff. to. When you come around, normally in the left, but I want you in the right this time. The right. Okay? Because we're going, going to join off. the slip road. Okay. Okay? I know if the Oh my the... goodness, ease off. What's the speed limit 30. here? Did you see another speed sign? No, I just assumed with that close, you usually jump you straight to 40. You in front there, yeah. So remember, it's 30 here. Until I get to until it. Until you get to the start sign. All right, yeah? Okay. How easy would that be to throw away your test? I know, but okay, why so now do it's it so late? So get your position, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Happy? Yeah. Yeah. Nice now you're not easy. looking... Now you're not looking behind in the blind spot, but I'm you're not using your mirror there, effectively. <laughs> What's the distance we should be in between these vehicles? Between, on this road? Yeah, so at this speed? I'd say two car gaps. So two car gaps? Because that's not, I don't know how you measure that. And that's Angle. not that much. It's not two car gaps. Is it five? It's called a two second rule. Okay, so you see he goes past the edge of that road there. Yeah. Right, right, you've got only a full breaks a two second rule. Or you could go one, two, three because that's so, roughly around about See, I'd seconds. rather leave a big gap. And then go <laughs> into your left lane here. Stop it. Okay, you, you've made a statement where you'd rather leave more or less a massive gap, yeah? Yeah, but then it pushes people into... You no, know, people are just going to always overtake you. Exactly. So there's a certain distance, it's a safety rule, which is a two-second rule. Stay to the left. Yep. You haven't said otherwise, so yeah. I'm unsure because there's a roundabout up here. And yeah. then when we get to the roundabout up here, what we're going to do is go left mm -hmm. and then follow the road through. We're not going into Tesco's, we're just going to follow it. Is it Bath Road, Bath Street? Go left. So go left here, orderly green, can you see? Yeah. Oh, we're on the next one down, aren't we? No, this is Tesco, aren't it? Costa there. Yeah. Oh, I saw you indicate last minute. It's a bit off putting when their position's wrong, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> or, or they don't indicate. I've think, seen loads of people don't indicate at the minute. Yeah, no, no, think about your position earlier. I know. <laughs> what are people think in there? It's like, oh, I've seen the learner badge, it's fine. <laughs> right, then you want to go straight ahead here. Mm hmm. Okay. Markings are a bit not so good here, but you can see, hopefully, that straight ahead is in what lane? Yeah, the left. Where you're doing, course it. Thank you very much. You don't need to indicate that, do you? You do need to indicate. Oh, oh my I, god! I, 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 just I told you, didn't Any I? Any time I want to indicate, you're like, do you really need no, it? No, but I, I said to you, your first thought is going to be probably the right one. Oh my god! So you probably want to do that. Are you looking at the old lady stuff? Yes, I am. Okay. That's why I'm slowing down already. <laughs> okay, so what we need to do. Left in or the right? Right lane, please. I'm just going to indicate whether I need to or not, it's not going to make a difference. Yeah, but then, then that doesn't make sense, because you could be confusing people. You're coming off a roundabout on that one, so you indicate left to come off around. Yeah. That's what it is. <laughs> so don't you say, I'm going to indicate... I was going to, I was like, I don't need to, do yeah, I? And you're like, yeah, you do. I can see your hand moving, I'm thinking to myself, yeah, it's good. And I'm thinking, what? what? 
Oh, well, where's, where's the flick? It's like, he didn't flip it out. Why did you do that? What's going on? <laughs> flip it out. It's not going good, this isn't. It's because I'm panicking because it's like three weeks away. I'm full on shitting myself. I should have stayed at Cobridge. Cobridge ain't got these many roundabouts. Cobridge has got a lot of roundabouts. <laughs> I think I only went on two roundabouts, bar from them small thorn shitty ones. Vile they are. Alright, so, are we following it up? Right, so what's going to happen, we're going to stay in this lane, we're going to bear round to the right, yeah? See where that Western Union van has gone, or that auto car van, yeah? yeah? I'm not sure if you're and going... And then, to... we're going to go up Anchor Road, okay? Okay. Oh, you're going to make me go on Wagon and Horses Roundabout? Yeah, so we're going to go head that way. I hit the roundabout the other day, I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you. What? I hit it. Uh, how? I don't... I went on it the other day, with my brother. On the small little come, roundabout? You know the Wagon and Horses one right at the top? Yeah. Where you can go little to your left, forward on, all these oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. it div, and then right on yeah. bev. I was like, I've never been on this one. So what do you mean? I was like, out of all the roundabouts, I've never done this one. So you'll be fine. So I was turning right, going to Bev, like third exit. Yeah. And because I was too busy looking at my left hand mirror, I went up the roundabout. <laughs> I was like, oh shit, there's a fail. What? Like everyone survived. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> I sat there like, oh my god, how the hell did I hit the roundabout? <laughs> I wasn't impressed. You, mm. you're not looking or. I said the joys of Stoke, but Longton's not much better, is it? He's just not bothered. Hmm. He's only got about five coins in his hand as well. See, I always stay away from those because they're big posts, aren't they? Yeah. They're massive. I don't think there. it's built great enough for two cars to get through there. So you can you speak that? I've seen him, I've seen him. Yeah, but they're not going to change, yeah, at the moment. Can you see? It's not like the zebra crossings when you have to. Why would they not change? Wait for press them. the button. Because there's normally a timer. Right? Oh, but they, cause some yeah. of them are weighted, aren't they, they, as well? So it depends if they, how, how long ago they went. Otherwise, on busy areas, just the, the cars would never, would never get going, there'd be massive queues, wouldn't there? Yeah. And then that becomes more dangerous, people become frustrated. I know some of them, when you get so far up, there's weights in it or something in the floor. Where it'll just, if there's cars not on the other side, if they're on a timing. It's normally done on the infrared beam, but funny enough, what have we got here? A zebra crossing. Okay, and there's. No an one's on it? Yeah, but there's also another little alley, you remember that yeah. people come out of? Okay. Still nobody. So uh, we need, all it is, which I think we've hopefully succeeded in, that you've become a little bit more aware. I don't want it, no one. <laughs> that's what he says. I don't want mush anyone. <laughs> that's what we tell our kids to cross, don't we? We take, we take for them, you know. Cross on them, it'd be safe. Is he deck? <laughs> you've got to be really aware. These are what they call controlled crossings. So controlled crossings are... A button the, tells you. The, yeah, there's a button. But it's even more than that. that if they've changed... Um, quite recently then they'll, they'll hold it on green until that time is up yeah but it'll also on the um, puffins and the toucans it will keep it on red while people are crossing no that that doesn't do anything until someone's cleared off it won't it yeah but the pelicans work on a timer and they flash that's why they have the flashing amber light <laughs> yeah. which is similar again to the, on, to, to the zebra crossing isn't it yeah mm. it means that you don't go if there's people on the crossing I dodgy, didn't you? Yeah, everyone's kicking up a right fuss about the roads, aren't they? Yeah. With all the potholes. They're on about why they've got to pay road tax, which makes a fair point, really. Paying road tax just for the cars to get broke. Okay, so we're going to go straight ahead here, yeah? Mm -hmm. So again, if I don't say anything, go straight. But think about your position. So 
info. There you go. And do signal. Yeah, I know you signal on Do you. signal. Do you know what I mean? It's as faffy about as it is. Yeah. Okay, so what we're going to do now is at this roundabout, we're going to go left. Okay? Mm -hmm. If you signal now... This I'm not going to because yeah, they'll think I'm going on exactly. here. Exactly. So you just time it. You hold it off, don't you? Dickhead, I knew you were going to do that. Okay, well, you just ease off. We were ready for it, weren't we? Yeah. Okay, so that's good. And again, you approach slower so you can make a better choice. Mm -hmm. That's horrible trying to see a car it, it cross is. that. It is. That's why you never come up there too quick. You just take your time. And then you see the gap and away you go. All good. Mm -hmm. I reckon it's going to be quite nice today. Hopefully. This roundabout, you want to go straight ahead again. Second exit, isn't it? Yeah? Yeah. What are you doing? Staying in there. See, that's easy, isn't it? Your position's there. Yeah. Then I want you to take your next road on the right. Remember the car won't stop, you can keep off that yeah. gas, can't you, yeah? And then I just want you to pull up on the left. The left? Yep, so my side, obviously left. But just, you know, in this occasion, just disregard the driveway. So you can just pull up a little bit more. There's a car right coming. Here. Yeah, just pull up a bit more, yeah. No, not going up the driveway, just just disregard it. So go forward a bit more, do you see? Oh, Back there, yeah, then. stop it, yeah? Disregard it. Sometimes you get told to disregard the driveway, yeah? Which just block it. So, handbrake on and relax. Normal stop, right, yeah? I just want to go over these couple of things, yeah? So, what, what we've done today. So, when you did the sat-nav, how did you find that? Mm, all right. Right? So... You get a bit more used to it, but... If we break it down on, on some of the stuff that happened, all right, yeah? See what we can do, eh? What do you reckon? <laughs> so, first of all, we've got. Um, let me get to me. Progress bit. Position on roundabouts, right? Yeah? So, position was the um, going straight ahead. And then for whatever you got yourself more more wide, didn't you? Yeah. For some reason. Alright, so position. Oh god, where am I? I <laughs> keep going there. So position straight ahead. <laughs> I shouldn't do that, right? Okay, so position straight ahead. Mm -hmm. You need to be in the left, right? Yeah, and you mustn't doubt yourself on this on the signal of it to come off. Um, the next one was um, the zebra crossings. So we really need to be looking at those yeah. zebra crossings next time. You know, yeah, because we had two, didn't we? We had the woman with the flower, and then the woman that you in said Newcastle. Was that. Yeah, the woman that was hidden. I was keeping an eye on it, really thinking okay let's go through it and use that as a learning thing she wasn't going to cross no but you, you, you like, 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 like i should have still waited and let like, her go like you say she's um you need to see her mm -hmm. um then we got paul hill roundabout which i sort of say Ugh. probably um 
Not as bad as it was. Not as bad, but you just need that just to get that position slightly better. Yeah. yeah? So it's port L position. And then we've got Basford Bank turning right. What did you think on that one? It's all right. Okay. I just, I could have gone you needed to in get, the left yeah. more. Okay, so next time we want to try and get that. Cause they're, yeah, they're if the I'd have noticed ones. the sat-nav sooner, yeah. instead of just listening to it, if I'd have actually looked at it and seen it was taking me off that one and not around again past the gym, I could have gone into the left lane. That's directions on sat-nav, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Okay, then... Obviously, we had that bit when we came off. We go back to Port Hill, but we we did that of looking behind mm -hmm. the blind spots. So, blind spots on slip roads, dangerous. Yep. <laughs> okay. Okay. So you tell me what I said that makes it better. Do the pirate kiss, kiss the pirate, thing. yeah, <laughs> and move. Yeah. Pull yourself you, forward. Yeah. So. Do your pirate check. Okay. Did you find that better? Yeah. Okay. It wasn't as crammed in and panicky. Okay, okay. But then when we did come on off Basford Bank, it was still, yeah, yeah, again, it's reading the sat nav, doubting yourself. It was just a slip ride. Yeah. Right, yeah? So there's, so we need to correct now, coming up 